Nether Games has just released a fourth map rotation, and today I'm going to be letting you know everything that you should know about this update while giving my overall thoughts and showing off some of the new maps, while revisiting some of the old ones as well. First off, I should probably mention that Nether Games will add a Christmas theme to most of the maps on December 10th, as a second part of this update, which has came out while in the making of this video. But in the first part of this update, we have some amazing new maps as well as some old ones that people may have missed. To start this section of the video, I'm going to be mentioning what game modes they have actually changed. For starters, they have added new maps for Bed Wars, Murder Mystery, Sky Wars, and The Bridge. While they rotated the maps for Duels, Bridge, Sky Wars, Murder Mystery, Conquest, and Bed Wars. Next, I'm going to be listing all of the Bed Wars changes and then some of the new maps for the other game modes. For Bed Wars, they added Wu Jun, which is an almost like a village and temple mixed together looking map. I mean, Play on for me personally, it's been a pretty alright map, although I love the look of it. Next, we got Serenity, which I personally have not played a game on yet, but it looks very plain for a Bedwars map. The building also looks very simple and nothing out of this world. The next one is Vikings, which is obviously a Viking Age type design, which also looks beautiful. It may be a bit flat for some, but it's still a decent map overall. Finally, we have Steampunk, which is a wooden themed map with a giant tower in the middle and smaller towers as a base. I have heard really good things about this map and on the few games I played, I loved it and I really recommend this map and it's really fun to play on, especially considering that the side rush is possible in only 3 blocks, which I mean it may even be possible in 2 but I have not seen anyone do that yet, which allows for situations that you would have not been in before. But besides that, pretty much everywhere else is a 16 rush or less. That includes to mid, diamonds, and the si or in the bases across from you, which allows for faster gameplay to spice things up. Anyways, moving on from that, I should probably list the maps that have stayed or were added back in the rotation. For Bed Wars, this includes Aqueduct, Cavern, Celestial, Cloud, Fallen, Mushrooms, which has actually been changed before the name Mushrooms in the past, but that has been changed obviously. Royal Wild West, which may be controversial since it's not the most favored map, Exodus, and finally Sandy, which was pastly known as Indian, which had the which I mean I think the name change was very unnecessary and it seems weird that they even had like a name between those two, which was Temple, which to be fair is even worse than Sandy, but besides that I don't know why they had to change the name. Something else I should probably add on to this is a new squad's map named Primus which I haven't had the chance to try out, but it looks very basic and bland, and it doesn't look like it would be too annoying to play on either, but it's also not the best. Also, I believe most of the squad's maps stayed the same, and if you want to take a look at more changes in depth for this and other game modes, you're able to check that in my pinned comment on the page for the current map updates. Although, another opinion that I would like to express is the fact that I don't get why another two murder mystery maps were made when literally no one plays <laughs> that would likely care about this change at all. Anyways, for the few of you watching that's play Sky Wars, I thought I would touch on their new maps added there. First off, they added Rails, which is an, almost reminds me of Wilderness, but in a different way as well. It looks like a decent Skywars map, although I'm not a Skywars main so I can't talk on behalf of the Skywars community. Another map was added which was Tropical, which as the name states, it's a tropical island theme. With a pretty weird proportion size from the images that I've seen at least. And finally, the last map that was added to Skywars was Waterfall, which looks like a solid map. It isn't too complicated, but it's also not too bland at the same time. This next segment is going to be a bit shorter but I thought I should touch on the single bridge map which was added. Which, I mean, it's kind of a surprise that they, I thought they were going to add at least two to three, but I guess not that many people play bridge. The map that was added was Tabernacle, which I would say is a very simplistic map, but it's also not the worst. When just not thinking and trying to get a few wins, it might be pretty fun, although it might not be the best for ranked bridge or just playing someone competitively in a pretty decent game. To finish off with my overall opinions on the update, I would like to say it's a pretty decent update. Although to be fair, it's kind of expected to have something like this and have a map change once in a while, and I feel like they should always do it every so often, so it's not nothing crazy or anything like that. But they didn't do anything bad besides maybe a few of the name changes, but they still added a few amazing maps. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.